So a lot of people often ask me what my favorite reserve is on Call of the Wild, and typically I'll say Leighton Lakes followed by Silver Ridge and now Mexico. But I'm not going to say Mexico is number one right now because it just came out and it doesn't have enough time to be number one yet because a lot of people just got it, literally. So you kind of got to get used to the whole map. Basically like SRP, when SRP came out, it was really good at first, but then a lot of people kind of stopped playing it, but then over time, right now I do believe SRP is the number one all time map in Call of the Wild. Because if you go to multiplayer, that's pretty much all you're going to see is SRP maps, Silver Ridge Peaks. Silver Ridge Peaks and Silver Ridge Peaks. But anyways, with that being said, we're gonna be out here on Silver Ridge Peaks today and we're gonna be taking some pretty crazy far shots with the bow on some giant bucks and giant bulls. I know I said we're going for mainly bulls and big bucks, but we got a max weight gobbler coming in here and he's about to be in range. In fact, we have three gobblers coming in here. So it could be kind of interesting. What I plan on doing is getting roughly like an 80 yard shot. That's him right there. He's gonna be the one stepping out right in front of us. Right there, here we go, here we go. Got a bit of a crosswind. Of course, he's right behind that tree. Dude, we just drilled him. We just drilled him. I saw him hop up like he got drilled. Where'd he go? Got that one as well. We could probably try and take him down. Let's see if we can't try and drill him as well. Oh, would have been perfect, but he turned on me. It's hard to tell. It's really hard to tell with a bow. We'll have to go over there and go investigate for ourselves. That's pretty sweet if we just took down two gobblers. The first one, I saw him. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got one coming this way. We might try and take him as a bonus. In the air as well. Oh, no way. No way. We got him in the air. I can't hit a pheasant, but we just drilled a freaking gobbler in the air. Oh, wow. And he's down. <laughs> that was my first time I've ever done that before in Call of the Wild. So let's go over here and see how we did. All right, so we got a bunch of blood, right? Holy turkeys! Something jumped up, but we got a bunch of blood right here, and I think this is from... There he is, guys. That's our max weight gobbler. Um, so he must have ran off this way. Yeah, we got some more blood here, and there's our gobbler down right here. Max weight gobbler. We took him at about 95 yards with the hawk edge bow. And all you can see is a nice tail feather sticking up right there. 4.4 gold. We took him at 94 yards on the walk and actually I mean it looks like we hit him kind of far back and we did but in a turkey a lot of their organs are a little bit further back so that basically would have been like an intestine shot. 94 yards is a pretty good shot and a pretty nice gobbler down as well. Now let's go over here and pick up the gobbler that we took out of the sky with the bow which might be one of the most epic shots that we've made in quite some time. In fact here he is laying right over here. Now I do believe we took down the other gobbler as well, which was right over where we just were. But this guy here, we took him at 32 yards and he was in fact a max weight gobbler as well, but kind of on the low end. 32 yards, we hit him right in the wing as he was flying. That's pretty sweet. That is awesome. My first gobbler airborne with a bow. Wow, not bad indeed. So we just got eyes on a beautiful muley buck here, and I think that's going to be him right there. Well, my goal is to take him down at about 80 here. Well, we got him. But I don't know how good. Pretty good. <laughs> we got hunting pressure. That was a pretty good shot. Not bad. Pulling off an 80 yard shot right there. It's kind of an odd time right now where I don't really need the night vision, but I kind of do. Okay, so we didn't drop him. We hit him right there. Good vital hit. And he ran like 20 yards, maybe. What I'm trying to do is see if there's not another big buck in this area because I do have two max weight muley tracks here. And we just took down the one right here. And there should be another one nearby. But until we find him, 
Let's go over here and take a look and see how good that shot actually was. He's a sweet looking buck too. He's got a bunch of stickers on him. He's got the one side uh, fork G2. So he's going to be a 245 gold and oh my god. A 94 yard. Looks like double lung liver stomach shot with a hawk edge bow. Man, he's such a cool unique looking buck too. I do believe we should definitely get him mounted. Because take a look, he's got the one side where he's got the, the uh, split G2, and this side he's got a huge G2 with a kicker on the side there. Um, he's just very unique. We should definitely get him mounted for sure. Oh, this could be a pretty cool shot. We got a real good black bear out here. He's a uh, guaranteed gold for level 6, so he's a huge level 6. He's about 160 out from us, and ideally I'd like to get to about 90 yards. Now, I kind of want him to turn a little bit as well. So maybe we'll kind of like draw back and then crouch up and hope that he notices us and then turns broadside so we can let one fly. Come on. There we go. Okay. He definitely notices us. I do not want to take that shot. That's so, so risky. Because the thing is, if you're taking a 90 yard shot when he's standing up with a bow, by the time you take the shot and arrow gets there, he's already going to be on all fours. So... It's going to be a complete waste of a shot. With a rifle, that's different. All right, here we go. I don't mind this shot. Oh, I think it sunk in there pretty good, guys. <laughs> yes. By the time I pull out the Binox to spot him, he's already going down. That's how you know you made a good shot. Let's go take a look. Yeah, it was going right on the inside of that shoulder, so we probably got double lung and a liver. And he didn't go 20 yards. I don't see the broadhead anywhere sticking out, so I don't really know exactly where we hit, but... Yeah, it looks like double lung liver shoulder tucked it right inside that front shoulder there and got a 19.10. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny because I thought he was for surely going to be a gold. And we got robbed on that just a little bit. We're 0.1 off from being a gold, but I mean, at a level six, it's still a pretty big black bear. And the shot was 85 yards out. Looks like double lung liver stomach shot. Boy, the one time I wish we had the 300 Magnum on us and we don't, but we do have the M1, which will do the trick if we can place this just right. Or he's gonna feed right there and uh give us a pretty good opportunity to get close enough to take him down with a bow and another good bull right there as well wow two good bulls side by side here they're both about 415 ish something like that uh maybe 400 probably and then the one in the back is probably going to be like a 380s bull but that guy there is a pretty impressive looking bull now i thought it'd be really cool if we can get to about 80 yards out and try and take a shot on this massive bull here we're about 100 yards out, and I don't know how much closer we can get. But we're going to try and get to at least 90. We'll zero in for 60, and then I want to try and make this happen. Alright guys, well, we got into roughly 82 yards out here. He's still in a bit of brush, but we could definitely take the shot. Now, we're zeroed in for 60, so that basically means the top pin's going to be 20, 40, 60. So it should be 80 yards right there. Got him. Shot looked pretty good. Might have been a tad bit high, but it overall looked pretty good. All right, so we definitely did not get him too well, but luckily we're gonna put a follow up in him. And that should take him down rather quickly. But I mean, to be realistic though, we could hardly even see his back sticking out. And I swear, if we drill that thing in the vertebrae, I'm gonna be sick to my stomach. There's our big bull down right there. Tracer sticking out of him. All right, let's find out how we did here. He's a good bull. I guarantee it's gonna be a vertebrae shot. I guarantee it. Look how high that broad it is there. Oh man, we were too high. Just barely and a little bit too far forward, but watch this. Oh, we pushed wide right. We pushed wide right. The wind, the wind threw it wide right at 89 yards. Man, we would have made a perfect shot, but it pushed it so far to the right and we didn't compensate for that wind. 
And then a follow-up almost made a running heart shot with the M1, but we didn't get it. And then intestine, lung, liver, and we totally messed up that bull. But it was a good bull. 429. All right, so we got a max weight bighorn sheep right there, and he's about 105 yards out from us. So I think if we got just a tad bit closer, we should be able to take the shot. But I don't know how close we can get, because if we get too close, that's going to be very tough to take that shot. We might actually take it from right here. All right, so we got closer now, but now, just like I thought, we can't really see hardly anything. He's right there at 92 yards, which he's definitely in range. And what's good about this is I know right where to hold, but the bad part is, is there's so much grass in the way that I just don't know how the heck we're going to get a shot off here. Unless we kind of slide to the outside. Okay, that might work. I don't know what just happened. It looked like it was going perfect, but then he kind of started running towards us. But I didn't hear anything. Let's go over there and go see what the, what the heck just happened. I don't know. I couldn't imagine he'd go down that fast with the 420. Come on. Come on. So you're telling me that we dropped him? And... It kind of looks like we made a hard shot. <laughs> oh, what a heck of a shot. 91 yard, perfect shot. We pulled back just a hair of the heart there, but 91 yard, right lung, liver, stomach shot, and a 147 brown gold bighorn sheep. Wow. That was pretty sweet right there. I honestly had no clue what happened because when we took the shot, he started walking towards us. So I thought, oh no. Maybe we messed up the shot, but I felt confident that before he started walking, the arrow was going exactly where I wanted it to. And uh, when I didn't see him come towards us anymore, then I kind of figured, well, he must be down. <laughs> and sure enough, what a perfect shot. 91 yards out and a nice gold bighorn sheet. And on that note, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We had a ton of fun. Unfortunately, we couldn't get that big bull. We tried to get one, but next time, hopefully we can get one. I've had a lot of difficulties trying to find big uh, Rocky Mountain bulls on my map. I can get pretty lucky on multiplayer, but lately we've been crashing so much that I've been kind of trying to avoid that area. Anyways, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. He's looking at you like, hey. What are you looking at? Hey.